In the last decade of his life, Andy Warhol returned to the depiction of the everyday, commonplace subject matter that brought him to wide recognition in the early 1960s. Based on images such as diagrams, maps and advertisements culled from newspapers and magazines, in some cases Warhol used a projector to trace the found image before using acetate in a screen printing process. This technique resulted in a unique mix of manual and mechanical aspects as well as a Trump Loy effect. In the case of the paintings Daily News and Valentine's Hearts Ad, the works respectively actually appear to be what they represent, underscored by their smaller scale. Warhol became interested in bridging the gap between the images of the commercial world and fine art through the language of advertising after finding success as a commercial illustrator. After rising to prominence with works such as his seminal Campbell soup cans and Brillo boxes, Warhol turned to silk screening to depersonalize and further objectify his works. Well known for his large scale depictions of figures such as Marilyn Monroe and Jackie Kennedy, Warhol became obsessed with fame and cultivated his own celebrity persona. In 1968, he was almost fatally shot by radical feminist Valerie Solanas. This traumatic experience had a significant effect on Warhol's artist vision. While he was already fascinated by mortality, he came face to face with his own death and it became a prominent theme in his work. Collectively, these late works are especially noteworthy in that they are revelatory of Warhol's conceptual foundations, which remained constant throughout his career. A fascination with flatness, consumer culture, reproduction, seriality and imperfection while engaging with politics, economics and class. Warhol notably created these works of his own accord at a time when the vast majority of his work was commission based. Many of the images the artist selected in this series, such as the work boots and key copy service, are even humbler than that of a can of soup, while others, such as the missile maps and a headline in newspaper about an artist's near-death experience, can be viewed as a commentary on the anxieties of the Cold War era and Warhol's own particular preoccupations. This notion is especially persuasive upon noting the visceral red of the Valentine's Hearts ad. Viewed in light of the artist's forthcoming death and the relevance of his work today, these jewel-like paintings on canvas, some of the last Warhol ever created, are particularly poignant and prescient. <laughs>